Hi, this is an introduction to new web-based code review tool. The code review tool allows peers to review code change in an easy, informal, and effective way. I will first introduce you to code review tool concepts. I will then show you a demo of how to use the tool to conduct code reviews. Review is a core concept in code review tool. Review is a logical entity representing a particular review request. In a review, author is the user who creates the review and reviewers are users invited by author to participate in the review to provide feedback. A review has a single author and one or more reviewers. Depo is a project in a particular source control manager. Change lists, also sometimes called as change sets, is a set of version files which are checked into source control manager as a single entity. Change is a pair of two different versions of a file which belong to a change list. A depot generally contains many change lists and each change list can contain one or more changes. A review contains one or more change lists to be reviewed. Common thread is a discussion thread among participating users of a review. It is associated with a particular source code location. It is either in open or closed state. Common threads are created by reviewers to identify issues in the source code as part of the review. Reviewer state is a state of a reviewer in a review. Review state is the overall state of a review. Let's create a review and see the concepts in action. The code review tool works with multiple different browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and Opera. Let's use Internet Explorer and log in with demo author credentials to represent the demo author account. After successful login, the user is taken to dashboard or home page. The dashboard lists statistics of the reviews created and assigned to the user. The dashboard also lists the recent reviews which the user was involved with either as a reviewer or as an author. To create a review, let's select new review. Let's select the demo depot to select change list for the review. Once the demo depot is selected, the latest change list in the depot are shown in the change list box below. Let's select change 1156 for the review and add it to the review. Now let's invite demo reviewer to review the changes. We can leave the title and description blank as they will be auto-generated. Let's click the save button. As you can see, the review is being created. And once the review is created, the user will be automatically redirected to the review details page. At the top of the review details page, we have the summary of the review details. And beneath that, we have details of all the changes which need to be reviewed. Let's start the review by clicking the start link. Once the review is started, the overall status of the review changes to in review. Let's switch to reviewers view. Let's use Firefox and log in with demo reviewer credentials to represent the demo reviewer account. In the reviewer view, the recently created review is listed in reviewer's pending review list. Let's check the reviewer's inbox to see if an email request was also sent or not. Here is the email notification for the same review request with a link to review details. You can navigate to the review details from this link. As you can see, the overall status of the review is in review and this particular reviewer status is listed as not started. 
Let's start reviewing the request by clicking Review Link. You can see that the reviewer status has now changed to In Review. For the purpose of this demo, let's review two files. Let's review the changes in ReviewWebClient.cs first. At the top of the change details, we have summary of the change details. Below that, the differences for the file versions are shown in detail. Since this file was added, all the lines background are highlighted with green in color. Let's identify an issue and start a common thread. In the create review method, we seem to have found an issue here. Without checking for a review response error code, we seem to be dereferencing the details of the review response. Let's create a common thread to highlight the issue. To create a common thread, select the lines, right click, and select new common thread. We have added a new common thread. As you can see, the presence of common thread is highlighted by a common thread icon on the leftmost column. To quickly see the details of the common thread, just place the mouse cursor over the common thread details icon. Let's review the next change. Let's find out an issue and start a new common thread. We seem to have found an issue here. Rather than using a specific uh, uh, error code, we are printing out a generic exception message on the console. Let's create a new common thread to highlight the issue. We have added another common thread. Let's go back to the review. As you can see, the review detail summary has been updated to indicate that now we have two open common threads. Let's complete the review by clicking complete link. You can see that the reviewer status has changed to completed with comment and the overall status of the review has changed to completed. Let's switch to author's view. Let's refresh the view. Once refreshed, we can see that the overall status of the review has been marked as completed. In the review summary details, there is a link to all the open common threads associated with the review. Let's open the common thread details. At the top of the review common threads, there is a summary of review details. Below the summary, all the common thread details are listed. We can see that there are two common threads listed below, which were opened by demo reviewer. One of the common threads is present in reviewwebclient.cs. The other common thread is present in createreviewscommand.cs file. Once we have gone through the issue and understood it, let's assume we fixed the code issues and checked it in at another change list in the depot. Let's update the review. To update the review, click Edit Link. Select Demo Depot. Select the change list 1158, which fixes the issue. Click Add to add it to the review. Click Save Changes to save the changes. As you can see, the review is being modified, and once modified, the user is redirected to the new details of the review. Once the review is updated, the common threads associated are automatically migrated from the old to the new versions of the file. Let's look at all the open common threads again. 
Let's go through each common thread detail below. Each common thread detail lists the effective diff between the start and end version of a particular file and the intermediate diffs which, for, which are part of the review. Here it looks like the fix did take care of the issue in terms of looking at an error code in the response. Let's check the other common thread. Here also, it looks like rather than using a generic string error message, we are using a very specific error message to write out in the error console. Let's update the uh, common threads indicating that we have fixed the issue. Now that the review has been updated, let's restart the review. Once the review is restarted, the overall status of the review changes back to in review. Now let's switch to reviewers view again. On refresh, we see that the review has been updated and started again. Let's start reviewing by clicking review link. The reviewer status has now been modified to in review again. Let's go through all the common threads and check if the issues have been fixed or not. Let's respond to the common threads. Now let's close all the common threads as the issues have been fixed. Since all the issues have been fixed, let's complete the review. Let's switch to author's view. On refresh, we see that the overall status of the review is now marked as completed and both the common threads which were opened by the reviewer has, have been closed. Let's close the review. Once we close the review, the overall status of the review is marked as closed. Let's look at some of the other interesting features in the code review tool. The depots link allows user to add, change and delete the per user depots. Once a depot has been added, the user can pick change list permit to create new reviews. The search link allows the user to query across reviews, common threads, and source files. The search feature can be quite useful to locate a particular review or common thread or change quickly. In this brief introduction demo, you saw how to conduct peer code reviews using Code Review Tool. We hope you found the demo useful. We also hope you will enjoy your code reviews with our new Code Review Tool. Please do send us your feedback using the feedback link. Thanks for your time.